Hey, hey, look, it's Friday. It's Friday, 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 Friday. Woo! Hey, 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 y'all, hey, it's Tracy time. It's time for another moment with me, Tracy T. It's a fantastic Black Friday. And what makes this Friday even more special for me is that I not only celebrate Black businesses on Black Friday, and it's Black Friday every Friday here live at lunch is Tracy time. But this Friday is especially nice to me and for me and you being with me because I get to celebrate my niece and nephew. My niece and nephew have done the doggone thing, y'all. They have created a business from the things that they did from their childhood up to date. So first, before we get into that, my three for 30 is going to be great. Two of my three will be talking about them and their business. And now my one is going to be talking about the foolishness that's happening in, in, in with the government. But now, first things first, how you doing? How you are? How y'all are? What's going on? It's Friday. And whoo, tomorrow is my day. My stop, drop, and roll by. So we're going to do that. But first, let's talk about Black-owned businesses. I am a black owned business, as you all know, and I make it a point. I am absolutely 100% unequivocally, unanimously intentional about supporting other black businesses. And so it is my absolute delight, honor, pleasure, privilege, and joy to celebrate the black business for this Black Friday that is hella awkward, hella awkward game cards, hella awkward cards, hella awkward conversation pieces, hella awkward is they are just getting ready to soar because they, those two, my niece and nephew, the, the, the oldest, the oldest two niece and nephew, Brittany and Brandon Rhodes are, they joined forces and did what they always done and it applied it to a business. The, you know, things are birthed out of necessity, right? And because of the quarantine, people wanted to stay connected. And so those two, along with their friends and other family members, got a chance to, you know, make sure that they were connected and staying connected. They've always played games. They're, oh my gosh, my sister, this is my sister's kids. And they've always played games. Actually, all of them, the nieces and nephews, all, they take playing games very seriously. And uh, so much so that they really go in, like Monopoly goes to a whole nother level, y'all. You literally have to go like, it's just a game. Like you, they're they're serious. They will stay up all night playing dang on Monopoly. So when I tell you they've been playing games and they're serious about it, but what they got serious about with this was that they realized that there was an opportunity for other people to reap the benefits of having conversations. And so it their tagline, which is I love, is people you know, stories you don't. And what better way to find out about someone that you may already know by asking questions. And so this is a wonderfully packed, beautifully designed set of cards that will give you different categories that you can ask. And there's a skip if you, you know, if the question is, is more challenging than you like to reveal, you get one skip card that you can play through the round and you get to determine how many cards or questions you wanna answer and then in what categories and the like. And they have dating questions, questions about sex, questions about relationships, just, I mean, a full spectrum. And so what I love about it is that you can play with anyone based on the cards then the questions you choose, you can play hella awkward with anyone. Let me give you an example of a couple of uses that, that I have seen in practical application and then some ideas on how you can also use these. For our family, at Christmas time, we got together on a Zoom, and you guys may have seen the video. We did, uh, there was a video edit of it, so you can just imagine that we had a ball. And the video edit that they used was one of the questions, have you ever been to a sex party? And I was like, hex, no. And what do I know? That I look around, and my beloved Sweetie Pie is like, yep, been there, done that. And I was like, what? And then my brother was like, yeah, everybody knew me when I came in, I had the camcorder. And I was like, OMG, I never knew that. And I'm like, do I need to know that? But it was fun because there are things that you like, you would never think to ask your siblings, have you ever been to a sex party? Like, that's not a question you think to ask, but it just opened the door for us to have so many more conversations after that one question. It was like, well, what do you what do you do? I mean, and y'all, I asked all kind of questions, and so we had a ball just from that one question. But we stayed on for, gosh, 
my, I think Brittany and Brandon were like, okay, we, we just wanted to play and like, we don't want to stay up all night with you. So I was like, I can't wait to get my own set of cards because I'm going to use this with my friends, right? This will be a fantastic way for like a group of girlfriends to get together and have a, a, what I used to, we schedule now sip and saves. So, you know, you, you have a little something to sip on and then you're just talking about stuff. This would be a great way to have a sip and say, right? And so then uh, my niece said that what she had recommended for her friends is when you're going to start, uh, when you meet somebody, and y'all know I don't have I don't have this, so this wouldn't have popped up for me because we didn't have been together for almost 27 years. But when you're meeting somebody, then you can use these questions and to get to know the person that you're meeting. Like this, these would be great dating questions. I thought that's so fun. That's yeah, because it's a, a game, so there's no wrong answer. It's just you getting information in a very clever, exciting, new, fresh way. And I thought that was really fun. The other thing I'd love is for family members that, so imagine if you have a family member, not like a sibling that you grew up with, because even with that, I didn't know my brother had been at sex parties. Hello, somebody. But um, for you have, if you have family members that you have, that are kind of cousins, but you're distant, or family members that you just learned about, you know, that happens sometimes to ask, the, to have a set of questions instead of just saying, well, who are you and tell me about you and what do you do and where you come from and all that stuff, that you can really ask some questions that will give you greater insight on how to connect. The other thing I love about this, and you guys can use these, go ahead and get your pre-order now so you'll be able to use these, is a great for family reunions online is fantastic for virtual fraternity and, and, um, and sorority organizations for you guys to have as meeting starters for icebreaker questions is great for people who are moderators and facilitators of events that they have to take those cards and have each person take a card and answer a question and pass it out hey Derek Mwah! I hope I'm gonna see you tomorrow at my stop drop and roll by I'm gonna get to that in a minute and so I think that these are fantastic opportunities for you to use those cards, not just as a game, but use them as true conversation starters, as true icebreakers, as true meeting starters that you can use and you don't have to be hella awkward anymore. I love the name too, cause you know, you got so many things that are just hella, like I'm hella loud <laughs> and I love myself hella lot, but I am thrilled, delighted, joyed, and just 100% excited for Hella Awkward and know that this is gonna go well. So now let me tell you, this is how you get it. You go to hellaawkward.com and Hella Awkward is one A. So it's not Hella and then awkward, it's Hella Awkward all together. Hellaawkward.com, I'll put it in, the, in, the, in the, the information in here so you can get it. And I want you to go and get it because y'all, it is so fun and I had a ball playing I'm putting it in, in the comments now so you will have access to see how awkward. So that is my Black Business Spotlight for today. It is my delight, joy, honor, and privilege to support my babies. I didn't birth them, but they are my babies. So if you love me, love on them, and go ahead and get your pre-order now. They, I couldn't wait. I got mine yesterday. The pre-orders opened yesterday. They have a limited supply of the uh, editor's edition that is available for you to purchase. It is less than $30 for you to order online at hellaawkward.com and you can go ahead and get that and they'll get those shipped out to you and I'm excited about it. So hellaawkward.com, hella awkward. So you guys are going to see me talk about that. I posted it. I'm super excited for them and I'm just so proud. I'm so proud. So support the babies. It's a black business. Support a black business. And we have young adults who are unafraid to step out and take their time, talent, and resource and put it to something that they think will be beneficial. And so we've got to support that. If nothing else, we've got to support that. If they weren't my nieces and nephews, I would support them in the same vigor that I do all the other businesses because I am just that proud and uh, happy to be in a position to say that they're doing something positive, right? Oh, my heart is happy and full for them. So now... You got hella awkward. You can use it for your family. You can use it with your friends. You can use it with a stranger to get to know. You can use it for meeting starters. You can use it with your sorority and Greek organizations. You can use it with your church members. Hello, somebody. The men's ministry and women's ministry, they don't have to have conversations about sex, but you can even open up some of those questions and apply that to a Bible study, I dare say. I'm gonna stretch you out and make you grow even further because some of the things that we had at our very own church, Freedom's Chapel Christian Church, we had a whole Bible study that was focused on sex 
right? And, and, and how it relates to the Bible and sexuality and spirituality and, and where they intersect. Some of those questions could have been questions that could have been spearheaded off to say, how does this apply? How is this a practical application in my life as a human having a spiritual supernatural experience? Just some thoughts, you know, the only limit is you and what you can think, right? So now, speaking of limits, I live with no limits. I love with no limits. I'm Mary J. Blige, love without a limit. Hey, hey, hey. So what I am doing tomorrow, despite the forecast of it being frigid, I'm going to be hot like lava tomorrow, baby, because tomorrow is my stop drop and roll by birthday celebration for my 50th birthday. So now here's what's happening. My birthday, my actual birthday is on February 17th. That's next Wednesday. And I'll be on because I'm, I'm going to use my wellness Wednesday to talk about being 50. We're going to open up my birthday gifts because all the gifts that I have been sent and I'm so grateful and thankful. Y'all just don't know. I'm just overjoyed. I really am. I, it, stuff comes in and I spray it down and I've had a couple of my cousins. Thank you, Symmetrius and Rochelle. I love y'all. Thank you. And they sent me a message. Tracy, did you get the gift I sent to you? And at the time I couldn't respond because the, the, as, as packages come in, y'all, because we still got COVID, right? I literally get the packages. I, you know, do the very best I can not to really handle them and let them touch me. And I spray them down and then I let them sit they go through what I call the decontamination stage. So I don't look at them and open up and get excited about it because they have to be decontaminated. So yes, I got them and I'm so excited. And y'all know when I open them up, I'm still not opening the presents, but I'll put them on the table and I've sent a, a couple of pictures I posted with the, the display and how my, my birthday pile is growing. And I'm so excited and I'm so grateful. And I'm so thankful to God to be here to celebrate 50 years. It's just an absolute blessing and it's a gift and i don't take it for granted and i don't take you for granted either and so i'm thanking you now and i will thank you again and i will thank you again and again profusely because i am absolutely grateful and excited but now let me tell y'all my stop drop and roll by because y'all know my brother said when i said it was a drive by he told me not to not to say drive by the drive by was gonna you know make people think some things that were negatively associated with it. so i said that's smart and when i put it out there and said well what do we call it some smart brain came up with stop, drop, and roll. And I was like, great. And then I told my mom. And my mom said, yeah, stop, drop, and roll is good, Tracy. But isn't that what you do when you're on fire? And I was like, you know what, mom, you're right. So stop, drop, and roll by takes it to another level. And that is exactly what we're going to do tomorrow. So despite the temperature, I want you to know that over here at this house, in this front, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful day. Whether the sun is shining or not, it's going to, I've claimed it. I've called it. I've named it. I'm going to have my, my prayer, my, the voice of my supplication has been, been heard. It's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. So for those of you that are planning to come and do uh, participate in my stop, drop, and roll by, it starts at 2 p.m. CT. Do not, do not let the forecast fool you because it's going to be great. I'm telling you right now, I'm claiming it. So we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to have music playing. I'm going to be live. So for those of you who are connected to me today, if you are not friends with me personally, you can send me a friend request and I'll accept it because I'm going to be live tomorrow on my personal page. I will not be live tomorrow on this page. I'll be live tomorrow for the stop, drop and roll by tomorrow at starting at two from my personal uh, Facebook page. So for those of you that are my beloved friends and family members, look forward to celebrating with me. If you're unable to participate in person, you can have the virtual experience of my year of Jubilee. I'm starting it out. Now I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna move on to this foolishness that's going on with this doggone impeachment. My sweetie pie loves to challenge me. One of the things I love about her. And so y'all know, because we have Groundhog's Day and Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's Day to you, by the way. Um, all that happens before my birthday. So I celebrate my birthday, y'all, for a month. My birthday, this is my doing. This is my choice. I celebrate my birthday for a month and not the month of February, but from February 17th to St. Patrick's Day. None of you knew about it. That's what I'm doing. That's that's on me. That's my, that's my, that's my thing. So, but what it does is because people celebrate for the month, we have a bunch of birthdays in my family on both my mom and dad's side of the family. So I just decided to do something different and unique. It's just my thing. It's me being my everyday amazing self. I'm okay with it. Speaking of which, I got a fantastic t-shirt on today. Y'all may not be able to see it. It says, stepping into my 50th chapter like a boss. So 
February 17th is my actual 50th birthday. My year of Jubilee starts then. I'm going to celebrate that thing until St. Patrick's Day, okay? So I know we got birthdays that are coming up. My sister's, my beloved sister's birthday is on the, on the 20th. She's going to be double nickels. We're going to celebrate her. We're going to celebrate everybody. My cousin Demetrius, my cousin Lakondra, my uncle James. All of us got celebrations. My aunt Ed's birthday was early this month. We got birthdays galore, I'm telling you, this month. And I'm going to celebrate all of them. But my birthday going to be celebrated from February 17th to March 17th. Okay, got it. So if you have uh, touched base and looked at my 50 and fabulous birthday list on Amazon and thought, oh, it's not going to get there in time. No worries. I'll still be celebrating. No worries. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted about that. But now let me tell you what I'm not delighted about. I'm not delighted about the Republicans who decided they didn't want to participate yesterday in impeachment hearing. What the heck, y'all? Whew, okay, I promise I'm going to try not to have a soapbox moment, but I'm not making any guarantees. Karen Massang, congratulations to you, beautiful, on your single. Put your information in here so people can see this. Another black business. Derek Lamont Stanley is on here, a black business, DLS Jams. Y'all, let's get this. Let's do this. Let's do this. We can do this together. Karen, come on, put your information down. And congratulations on your new single. And pre, can you pre-order? Did I hear that right? Because we want to support you. You know we do. We love you. Y'all ever heard somebody want to sing, sing? You can hear that. You know their voice just, God just touched all over their vocal cords. That's Karen Mustang Brown. So Karen, I'm looking forward to seeing that information. Go ahead and share that. So, uh, and know that I love you. Um, Y'all. What the heck of Jekyll and Hyde is going on with the, the, the Republican senators, the jurors meeting with Trump's defense team? What, 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 what is this? What? I don't even understand that. How does that even make sense, y'all? What are we doing? What are we, you are welcome, Care. You know I love you. What are we doing? Put your information there so everybody can see it. Because, you know, we got to share and help and love. What is happening with the senators? Y'all help me understand this. I need this edification for myself. I need for you to help me understand what in the world, what in the heckle jekyll and hyde is happening, seriously, that it makes sense that we know uh, 45, that Trump is wrong as two left feet. Wrong as two left feet. They got stacks and stacks and stacks of documentation. They have the people, the insurrectionists that were over the whole thing saying we're waiting to hear from Trump. We got all this evidence. We got video footage of the stuff they had. We have everything, written, video, audio, every type of documentation possible known to man, right? And then you turn around and you got Republicans or you know what? I don't even want to call them Republicans, even though they represent, they're in the Republican party, they're Trumplicans that who, who decided not to even be present and even more disrespectful, in my opinion, to be present and then slump down in the chair with your feet kicked up on your phone, acting like you're waiting for a flight. I mean, this is, these, y'all, we have got to make better choices about who we put in Senate. The senators have so much power and authority over what happens in our land. We have got to do a better job about making sure that we have people in those seats that represent us. And I dare say that these people are not representing the states from which they come. This is the most unbelievable, ridiculous stuff I have ever seen in my entire life. It is a mockery. It is an absolute mockery of the system that has been established to circumvent this type of behavior. There was a person who, and I, I don't know the senator's names, because I was so dumbfounded by their behavior, I, it, 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 I literally was shocked. And you think that the time for us to be shocked with everything we experienced in the last four years would be over. But I was shocked because I was so disappointed with the behavior. These are grownups, number one. And then you are representing a whole area. You are responsible for making yourself the voice of people. You are not representing all the people. I guarantee you're not because they don't want you to do that. It is terrible. So I'm saying this, we can't allow ourselves to become complacent and content with the fact that we got Biden and Harris in office, y'all. We have got to make sure that we are intentionally, purposefully, mindfully making moves and decisions that we stay engaged now more than ever. Because if we had 
people that were senators that represented our voice and our concerns and our values and our morals, we would not have people in the, in the position now that are making those choices. It's horrible. It's awful. It's de despicable. Am I right? Because I just can't even wrap my head around the fact that they excuse themselves from it and then they, they quarantine themselves off. And then worse yet, the people who are the actual jurors, the people who are the actual jurors for the impeachment have gone to meet with Trump's defense attorneys? And that's okay? Is there no check and balance system for the senators? What do we have set up here? We have an impeachment that's the check and balance for the president of the United States. Is there no check and balance system for the senators and their behavior? Because this is Tom Fuller, y'all, at his highest level. All right, I'm going to say this. I, I said my piece. We need to stay engaged is my point. We can't allow ourselves to now say, you know what? We got the people in the White House we want in the White House. That's it. No, because the Senate, I've said this over and over again, we, we got to stay mindful. So for those of you who want to continue to move, don't allow yourself to get complacent. This is not the time for us to rest on our laurels. This is the time for us to say we we are we made one positive move. We've been able to see what happened in the state of Georgia with what Stacey Abrams did. Let's use that as a blueprint. Let's let that be a foundation for us to replicate that and not let that be a one and done and not an ad hoc situation where Georgia has made some significant moves and that we can then lean on that as a beacon for us for the rest of the country. Not that we let these isolated pockets have so much position of power because we got people in Kentucky and Alabama and Virginia and North Carolina. So it's too much. It's too much. They're, they're, and they're being disruptors of our whole entire democratic system. So that's my two cents on that. Stay connected. I'm, I'm not going to let it go. I gave it a break because I wanted to be in, in a celebratory mode to be able to honor the, the historic, amazing experience we had last month, we now need to say, okay, let's take the rose colored glasses off and get back with what we really got to have going on. Let me finish this by saying, Karen put her information on here. If you have not yet allowed yourself the gift of Karen Mustang Brown, please, please, please do. And know that she has her debut single for pre-orders on iTunes. It's going to be released on Valentine's Day. Wonderful, because she has a beautiful voice that you will love. And what better day to do it than on Valentine's Day? And so the name of the song is With You, and it's available for pre-order now on iTunes. So Karen, with you, we are with you, and we are supporting you and looking forward to all of the success that you have that's coming forward and that you be blessed abundantly. And DLS Jams, we are ready to get our bodies moving again. So, you know, you you always, y'all got open carpet anytime. Come come put your stuff on here whenever you see me live at lunch. Whether it's Black Friday or, or Motivation Monday or Wellness Wednesday, come on and put your stuff on here. That's what this is for. We got to celebrate each other and support each other. And that's what we're going to do. And I make sure I make my point to do it on Friday because every Friday is what? What? To the what? To the what? To the what? Black Friday. I love that guy with where the money resides. So now listen. Do you know I love you? Do you do you know I love you? Because I love you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Not a single thing you can do about it. I hope you receive it and accept it. And then I hope you take that verb and you share it. Because love is a verb. It, it requires action. Okay? So I'm sending you a verbal, ooh, a virtual hug <laughs> from me to you. Uh, did you get it? Did you get my virtual hug? All right, send me one back so I can feel that energy and love because I need it. But y'all, tomorrow, it's on 2 p.m. CT. I will be back on my personal page live. So my fabulous and 50 stop, drop, and roll by will be recorded and available. I don't know if I'm recording or not because some things may not need to be. <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of fun and we're, we're going to be out there and I'm going to have a fantastic time with you and look forward to seeing you and, and just want you to know how grateful I am that you're celebrating my 50th birthday with me. My year of Jubilee is so special and important. Half of a hundred, right? I've been blessed for 50 years to be on this planet and I'm grateful. And I want you to know that I'm grateful for you spending this time with me for my three for 30 with my live and lunch. 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We do it every week. I'm going to be right here. I'll be back on Monday for Motivation Monday because we want to know where's your mindset. We've had a lot of great tools that we've been working on together, and we got to continue to do this thing together. It's not just me. It's not just you. It's us. Come on, Derek. Yes, you'll be live. Derek, DLS Jams will be live next week on his page for a virtual. And then I got my virtual hug from you. Thank you, Derek. Mwah. All right. That's it. That's all. Ooh, and I'm three minutes to the good. Look at that. Hey. Hey, 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 I feel, hey, hey, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, go Tracy, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, all right, DLS Jams, I need you to give me some more dance moves, because that's not it, but that's it for now, all right, that's it, that's all, y'all, I want you to know that I absolutely want you to what, yes, make every day amazing every day be every day amazing thank you karen for my hugs make every day amazing and above all else live like it's a gift because it truly is that's it that's all bye y'all bye